I'm born and raised here, but I guess sometimes it becomes overwhelming. When I first came and they had that big challenge of like being accepted in their community or uh, even when I started school. With a lot of the pressures out there, young people go through a lot of, I guess, struggles. Being a young yeah. person, there's a lot of pressures um, from the outside world, whether it's work or school or uni. Especially they are new to this country, um, they don't know how to be, to, to, to speak up. Not everyone is like open and willing to say, you know, to tell you like all the problems. So in my community there is like, you only keep it to yourself. There is help out there and you yeah. can seek help and you're not alone. These resources are great to use them as a guide to overcome that. Here they, they um, supply more support, they uh, give more support. And this will make like, more improvement during, like, in my community. Something I can relate to, sort of being in my language, something easy for me to read, acknowledging that I guess the country that I've, that I've now settled in has accepted me I guess for who I am or accepting that um, my language my language as well you know I think this is the first thing that has been translated in this language like when you go there's like welcome in every language like making this we make them more included in more other you know things like such as activities that I guess these resources a sense of belonging picking yeah. them up and sort of being able to relate to them I definitely think there's a need um, for such resources I think a lot of people suffer um, quite silently in our community. Um, but also these resources is using them both for young people and for um, sort of adults within that Arab community. Going back to sort of the stigma behind it, I think these resources are great to sort of acknowledge that it's okay to go through a health, mental health issue. I don't know, I found COVID stimulated a lot of awareness about mental health and acknowledge that mental health is a thing and is an issue that we need to acknowledge. I think as well the activities as well that come with these resources is so great because they get young people, um, I guess they help them plan ahead or get more involved and to think out loud of how they want to seek that help or what they want to do so to sort of achieve their goals. Even being a supportive thing for parents who have um, young people yep. um, and just using these resources as a guide to say, okay, this is what we're going to do. To my, like, our elder my help us. No, not just go exactly through, uh, straight to doctor and Absolutely, our moms are the best. My mom was really happy because she's the most one that doesn't, you know, understand English. Well, it's a great feeling being in this project. At the end, I feel like these things, I did it with like um, a lot of love to give back to this community. I definitely think I feel very privileged mm -hmm. to be a part of this, um, this project, I think. I feel so proud that I I did it in Arabic, like I translated something in Arabic. I was pretty excited, like to see, you know, because I wanted to join this uh, project, like working with you guys. And feel happy of being involved as helping others as my community. As well, being a part of it, I guess, sort of being that voice out there for the young people has been, I guess, probably one of the most, I guess, one of the most beautiful things in this project. I feel like we translated what's going on in their heads. Although these tips and our aim was to target mental health and our mental well-being, I guess it addresses our well-being as a whole. It will be a tip for life. Yes. Yeah.